Have you trained your calves today? If not, you soon should. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle as per usual. We're going to take a look at a few physique updates and we are going to take a look, a close look, at the 2022 Arnold Classic UK Men's Physique. Men's Classic Physique, not Physique, Men's Classic Physique. But anyway, you're obviously, if you're looking at the screen, you can see Hunter Labrada in this recent physique update. This guy looks like... You guys remember He-Man action figures? You guys know where I'm going with this. He looks like He-Man. Look at the size of this guy. There's no room for the gym in there. Because Hunter Labrada is so big. Yeah, yeah. Hunter Labrada, man oh man. If he has... And I'm, I'm not saying this, but if he has politics on his side, obviously the judges like his physique. Got a nice little placing there at the Olympia. Obviously they like him. Fourth place. Hey, it looks good for him going into the Olympia, I would say. But anyway, just a quick physique update. Hunter Labrada. Go follow him on Instagram. Here is your men's classic physique division lineup. And we're going to take a look at what I call maybe the top eight. There's a few names there you can read through. First name that jumps out to me, Jose, Mary, Methi, Bure. It's Metal Man. It's Metal Man. You know who it is, darn it. This guy, this is a recent physique update. Follow him on Instagram as well. All of these guys, all of these guys. Yeah, things are looking good for him. I mean, what? He won the Mr. Big? Not to be confused with the... The big man invitational because he placed third, maybe, there. Anyway, won the Romania. He's on a winning streak for sure. So, yeah, he could be a top dog. I'll give you my top two. I'll give you my top two predictions when I list finish listing these guys off. Huh? Kuba Selen? He is an open class competitor going to classic physique. He made a, uh, a YouTube Video, an announcement. Oh, gosh darn it. A month ago or so? Anyway, yeah. Kubasilin, he's going from open class to men's classic physique. So here is hoping for a, a good transition. I like this guy's physique. Good good bodybuilder. Here is a Laszlo Corrali. And I definitely know who this guy is. I remember him. He won the uh, the British British Grand Prix, that's pictured here. And, yeah, he is peeled, like, ripped to shreds, man, soon. If this guy can, uh, you know, maintain this type of conditioning, this level of conditioning, crispness, and if he keeps, you know, maybe puts on some, some size where he needs it, keeps it away where he doesn't, maybe some in the arms, he could win this show. But we haven't seen him in a little while, so... Could be a little bit of a wild card. Go over to the other side here. and First name here. He's a good bodybuilder. Or men's Classic Physique Division competitor. Marco Roos. Marco Roos. Uh, what was the show? He he placed second to Fabian Mayer. Meyer. Fabian Mayer. He's like 6'4". Fabian. He was an old uh, NABA pro. NABA pro champion. Universe. Universe. But anyway, 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 Marco Ruz, looking good for him. I think it was the M-Pro Classic, or whatever they called it. Uh, Michael, here's Neil Curry. Neil Curry won the New York Pro, so he is a definite guy that is going to be a first call-out. You know, you're going to want to look at him for a first call-out for sure. And then, there is Peter Molnar. This is, I, I guess, the most, physique, most recent physique update by Peter Molnar. I was so excited about this guy coming to the IFBB and competing and winning shows, going to the Olympia, challenging Bumstead. But you know what? It seems like the judges just don't like this physique. And had they, you know, been placing him higher and liking his physique, I would say he could win this show. But he unfortunately will not even be in a first call out. And that is so unfortunate. The guy is incredible. I Hey, high hopes. I'll be jumping up and down if he gets in that first call out. Maybe even wins the show. Who knows? Yeah, a couple more names. Shane Collins. Uh, Shanta, uh, ooh, Wesley Vissers. 
Now, Wesley, in my opinion now, with all due respect, he did not look like he he was 100% at the Olympia. He got 11th. I think it was 11th. He, he was out of the top 10. Yeah, he did not look 100%. I mean, you look at him, the 2020 Olympia, he was twice as good. So, yeah, he could win this show for sure. Don't overlook Wesley Vissers, but he will need to bring that 2020 Olympia package. Here is Christian Zagarella, Zagarella, or Zagarella Christian. I think it's Christian Zagarella. Anyway, he won the Yamamoto Pro, so you have to mention him. Definitely worth the mention. Is he going to get into the top three? Mm, Probably not. A couple other names there where... uh, you know, I definitely believe we'll that we'll be looking at a, a top three or four gentlemen. Here is your top two. This is my opinion, guys, and that's the fun about bodybuilding. You can speculate, and these two guys are apples versus oranges. Apples versus oranges. And the winner, in my opinion, that is, will be Metal Man. That's my prediction. Metal Man with, uh, you know, oh, you got uh, Wesley Vissers, obviously, here. He's in second. But it could go any which way, guys. Now, let's stick with the Arnold Classic UK for at least two physique updates. One from Mark Hector showing his legs. Now, you guys have been criticizing him, not showing his legs. I think this guy has a very bright future in the IFBB, in the open class. What with the new focus, the new, you know, with the definite focus on uh, aesthetics. More aesthetically pleasing bodybuilders are winning shows over the just more conditioned, muscle-bound bodybuilders. So yeah, Mark Hector, he's competing this weekend, guys. He could upset Andrew Jack. And so could James Hollingshead. A lot of people, including myself, I'll admit it, been kind of writing this guy off after his subpar performance at the Olympia, with all due respect. But James Hollingshead, and I guess this goes against the more aesthetically pleasing bodybuilders winning, he comes in when it wasn't the Olympia, guys. You have to remember that. This is not the Olympia. He came into the British Grand Prix. He came into the Europa Pro, just all guns blazing, rock hard, ready to do battle, and he won both shows. So he could very well be eyeballing that Arnold's Classics command get to the Chapa Trophy. Or whatever they have for them. He might be eyeballing that for a win. He could be the one to upset Andrew Jack. Oh man, oh man. Wouldn't wouldn't a lot of people be upset about that? But it could realistically happen. Now to switch switch sides over to, I guess, an Olympia physique update. Derek Lunsford. A lot of people are buzzing about this guy. Imagine Derek Lunsford. Winning the Open Olympia. The first man in history. Win 212 and then go up to win the Open. Wow. And then I'd like to see him trim down and win Classic. Hmm? Hmm? Well, I, I, I don't see anybody else in the history of bodybuilding being able to pull that off. Maybe Sean Ray. But anyway, guys, take a look for yourself. He is a mastodon. Look at the forearms on this little guy. I call him Little... At a, you know, comparing with Big Ramy. I mean, these guys are huge. Met a few bodybuilders in my time. And, you know, they were only 200 and some pounds on stage. And off stage, I gotta say, they were massive, massive. And in decent condition. And speaking of condition, the midsection anyway. I can see some abs there. So he is definitely anything but fat. Got some calves there too. So Derek Lunsford... Going into the open class, going to be a an ingredient that the 2022 Olympia, I mean, it's just full, jam-packed full of spices and ingredients as it is. But this is going to be, could be the cherry on the top of the cake. Never know, never know, never can tell. And we will be finishing this one off with a physique update from none other than the prodigy Keon Pearson. He is going to the Olympia guys, 212 division, and of course, last year, dropped the ball a little bit. I'm sure he he would admit that he dropped the ball quite a bit. And this year, I think things are going to be a 100% difference, a turnaround. 
This guy's focusing in on his condition, his his shape. And aesthetics, nobody in this division looks more aesthetically pleasing, more complete, things of that nature. And nobody has a better structure as far as delts, your clavicle width and your waist. And guys, Derek Lunsford, if he's going to the Open, and if Clarita decides to go to the Open, uh, Calderon's going to the Open, hey, it could be Open season for Keon Pearson. Keon Pearson, you never know, guys. Anyway, that is the news for today. Went ahead a little bit, over 10 minutes, but I'll put some time stamps on there. Why am I telling you that now? Any, anyway, it helps you out a little bit, and you guys help me out greatly by tuning in each and every day. Have a great one.